keeping you connected to our community. 11 Connects. Welcome into 11 Connects. I'm your host, Samantha Basarico, and today we are at Why You're Not Home Services, and I'm with Joey. He's the mascot. Thank you for joining me. And so, you guys, look at all these awards they have. They have eight customer service awards. They just recently won another one. How awesome is that? Joey's not much of a talker, as you can see, but we also have Trent. He's the president here with us. Hey, Joey, can I take it from here? Yeah, he's not much of a talker. So I'm Trent Urban, president of the WireNet. So talk about that most recent customer service award. How awesome is that? Oh, it's incredible. Uh, it was our eighth, as you mentioned a minute ago, with Joey, with Quiet Joey there. And uh, really, it's to brag for just a moment, we're the record holder in that award at this point. And that's, I give all of that to my team. So taking care of customers, doing what's right, you know, just giving that impeccable service, which is what won us the award. And so talk about the process of the selection of how they go through determining you guys are the winners. Uh, well, it's a pretty arduous deal. It's about 50 pages of a packet that, you know, when submitted, it explains what our process is and then, you know, goes through how we address things when we don't do, you know, things perfectly, which happens, you know, how we make it right. And then after we're making it right, you know, what is it, how do we prove that? And just then they come in, they actually audit us on site. It's a lot of work. As I said, about 50 pages. So it's something that... You know, we got to put a lot of, lot of time and effort into. And they do give you feedback, and you guys improve on that feedback, right? They do, yeah. In fact, uh, I was talking to the team about this. Like, it's basically, I feel it's graded on a curve almost anymore, where every time we do it, we have to step up a notch. We can't just do the same thing we were doing the pri uh, you know, prior, at this point, seven times. So we have to keep improving on it, keep getting better, keep learning from it, and just taking that knowledge and, and you know everything we learned from the last 365 and put it into the next 365. And then, so what are some changes, I guess, that you've seen over the years um, in your team for customer service? Uh, customer focus, um, being prompt about our improvements, you know, whenever we have something that goes awry. You know, we're in, we're in a lot of homes anymore, and so when we do make a mistake, then how quickly can we fix that mistake? What are we doing to fix that mistake? Standing behind our guarantees, uh, one of them being lifetime workmanship. So when we stand behind that, that means if, if we were paid to do the work and we didn't fully make it you know, to the workmanship quality that was expected, then we come out and we fix it. And you guys do a lot of services where, you know, they're in people's homes and people yeah. might be freaking out and need something done ASAP. So right. why is it so important for your team to be patient with them and walk them through that process? Well, we're in the sanctuary of each person. You know, their home is their sanctuary. We're in their, typically their highest investment, the most expensive thing they have in their life. So if we're not taking care of that, we're expecting that we're going to hear about it. And so we have to really honor that. And we have to understand that we're in that place that's sacred to them. And so it's not our home, it's theirs. And then just touch on some of the services that you do offer here. Uh, of course, within the home, we're coming out. We're, uh, we started in electrical, so we're always doing that as well. But we're also now, and for the last many, many years now, have been offering uh, heating, cooling. We have plumbing. We have sewer and drains. So if you have a clogged drain, um, if you have a furnace that's not working, you know, th around this time of year, you get the colder snaps. And so that's when it puts a strain on the furnace. You typically, the furnace waits until the coldest day to break and the drain waits until you have all of your family over to clog. And so yeah. we try to address those as quick as possible. And so what is the best way to get in contact with you guys? Uh, well, you can visit thewirenut.com or you can give us a call uh, at 719-227-0500. And like he mentioned, with the cold weather coming, you yep. don't want to put this stuff off. Right. Awesome. No. Yep. Take care of it while you have a chance. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining me. All right. Thank you. 